Desiree, come here. What do you think of Amy Bryson? She's such a snob. Always sat in the front of our class like she was better than everybody. Who does that to their best friend? Acts like their friend sleeps with her boyfriend? That's just nasty. Uh, all the girls hate her, but all the guys kind of like her. I think she's ugly. I mean, everybody always talks about how pretty she is, but I don't see it. I just think everyone likes her because she's easy. I mean, I guess I really don't know Amy, but uh, she seems like she's a pretty nice girl. Would a nice person do that to their best friend? I guess not. Amy Bryson, you're the biggest whore that I've ever met. I mean, who does that? Like, just a total whore. She's a slut, plain and simple. Like, we may have been friends at one point, but obviously not after this. Amy Bryson, go to hell. No one wants you here. Hey, Tiffany, Tiffany, what do you think of your ex-best friend, Amy Bryson? Oh, you mean other than slut? Um, wait, hold on, hold on. Um, let's see. I want to tell Amy Bryson that she is a two-timing whore who pretended to be my friend, my best friend, by the way, uh, so she could go behind my back and sit with my boyfriend. But all you'll ever be, Amy, all you'll ever be is a lonely, ugly slut. All those times I sat around and listened to you cry about your mom and how bad you got it. Well, you know what? That was a joke. It was a total joke. And you know what? You're the joke, OK? Because all you're ever going to be is a rich little daddy's girl, OK? A rich slut of a daddy's girl, OK? So why don't you go to hell, slut? Die. Bye. Go now and put everyone out of their misery. Mom, go to hell and die and put everybody else out of their misery. You slut. Did you brush your teeth? Are you ready for bed? Mom? Yes, sweetheart. Tell me. Tell you what? Please tell me. OK. I love you. I love you. You are so beautiful. You are so beautiful. 
I love you so much. I love you so much. You have so much in front of you. You have so much in front of you. You are my princess. You are my princess. You are my everything. You're my everything. I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I love you. I love you. God loves you. You are my angel. You are my sweetheart. And I know you're going to grow up to be a beautiful woman and have a wonderful life. And you are the greatest thing that has ever happened to me. Maybe you can relate to hearing words like, you're fat, you're ugly, nobody would miss you if you weren't here, go kill yourself. Those are pretty harsh. And you know what, they're not the truth. Here's the truth, you're special. You are special. You matter. There's something so significantly wonderful about you that if you weren't here, we would all be missing that something special. When you realize that you were created by God, the creator of life, you have to begin to understand, well, why would God make you? The Bible tells us, the best-selling book of all times, in Job chapter 33, verse 4, that it's the Spirit of God who made you and the breath of the Almighty that gave you life. That's why you're here. He created you on purpose. Don't buy the lie. Here's the truth. God loves you. He's got a great plan for your life. And you know what? That plan includes life, not death. So today, choose life.